Well, hello there. I just wanted to give you a quick little tutorial on how to set up image backup using Google Photos. Whether you use Android or an iPhone, this app is fantastic uh, because your phone's never going to run out of storage um, from the pictures and video you're taking uh, because you can easily upload it to the cloud. Uh, so the way we're going to do this, we're going to open the Google Photos app. We can see all the photos and videos that I've taken recently. We're going to press this little button with these three lines to get into the menu. Uh, so now that we're here in the menu, um, we are actually going to go into our settings. And then from here, we're going to go to Backup and Sync. So from this Backup and Sync menu, this is where we can change our settings on how we want to take care of backing up and syncing things using the Google Photos app. Uh, so right now, we have it turned on. We can see that I'm using... Um, I'm sorry, I have 972 gigs left of my 1.2 terabytes. Uh, so I, because I have a terabyte of data, am using original size. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you're using the original size, it's going to take up more space than if you're using um, what's considered good quality, or high quality rather. Now if you choose high quality, you have unlimited space. You can literally put as many photos on Google Photos as you want. Uh, now if you do original, this is going to limit it to um, the account storage that you have, but it is going to be the original, uh, the original um, resolution of the image that you save. So I recommend if you really don't know what you're doing and you don't care, high quality is totally fine for most people. That'll probably probably give you an eight by ten print, definitely a five by seven. Um, so I have mine on full quality because I pay for space. Anyway, uh, here's how I have these things set up. Now, if you if you don't have an unlimited data plan, turn the cellular backup off. I mean, just wait until you get some Wi-Fi, unless for some reason you don't have access to Wi-Fi. Turn these guys off. They're just going to drain your battery using yourself an antenna. And only set it up to backup um, when you're charging. You can turn that on or off. It'll help you save battery um, if you leave it on to only backup when you're charging. Uh, so there it is. That's how you can do it. You uh, set those settings of how you want it, turn it on. Now, the cool thing is, uh, once you've plugged this in the way I have it set up and it's backed up, you want to free up some space in your phone, all you have to do is go here, free up space. It's going to calculate how many things have already been uploaded and ask you if you want to go ahead and remove those from their phone. So I only have one thing um, that I actually haven't uh, removed from my phone yet. So by clicking remove it, it is going to just remove it from my phone because it's already in the cloud. Now what's cool is it's still available. Even though I removed it, it's still right here. It was actually this video that I just shot. So. While the things are in the cloud, you can still easily get them on your phone. It just downloads a local copy to your phone. So that's it. Google Photos, incredibly awesome app. Uh, iPhone, Android, get it. It's basically like having unlimited storage on your phone. Um, you can access those photos from the web, do some amazing things with them. Totally recommend it. Probably my favorite app of all time, Google Photos. Go check it out.